We have uh, the images to back up my uh, my case. By the way, what did he just say? What did he just say? He said, I have the images to back this up. Now, what has Dylan been saying all along? He says that he has headshots. All I want is like a big fat just destroying my body. <laughs> so if any of you guys know a good now, sometimes I'm recording videos and I feel myself holding back, you know, like I'm holding back because I'm like, gosh, I just don't want to, I don't want to say anything that, you know, really rubs this person wrong. And so I did this video, you know, and I really did have in the back of my head, I'm like, man, Logan's getting it from all angles. Like, I feel like I, you know, I should, I should pull my punches a little bit here, but you know what? I can't do it. I can't put that video out because this is too good. Like, this is too good. Dylan Danis just dropped two atomic bombs on Twitter, and another thing happened. He's not shadow banned anymore. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, because the video that he just dropped three and a half hours ago has 24 million views, okay? Four hours ago. It's getting forwarded to everyone, and you are going to get to see it here. You know, but there are two videos that we're going to watch because my goodness gracious, there's one of them. Okay. Now in this one, you get to find out verification of, uh, I mean, let's just, let's just break it down. Like what's the implication of all of these posts, right? It's like Nina Agdahl maybe is a, you know, uh, how far into this video are you? Uh, you do have to pull your punches up to a certain point in YouTube. So, uh, you know, or into a video. So Nina Agdahl likes to collect you know, uh, these, she's a collector, you know, she loves it. That's the implication of her being in all these photographs with the dudes, right? That's what everybody's like. Oh my God, man, look at all these dudes, but you don't get actual verification that this is more than her just posing with pictures. Now, obviously it's common sense. Some of them are very obvious that this is someone that she has a uh, physical relationship with, but others you're like, I don't know, dude, you know, she might just be taking a picture with, uh, with Ja Rule. You know, like the, it's Ja Rule. Maybe she's just taking a picture. This video is, uh, you know, kind of does a, does a Israel Adesanya straight through the heart of that, uh, that thought. Because he's like, hey, let me tell you about myself and some of my friends that have all smashed. So that's what's in that one. And I'm going to show it to you. It's hilarious because it's the Valuetainment guy. You guys all know who he is. And then this one. And by the way, this might be. It's a, okay, so 23 million views, and look at this, four hours. His shadow ban is gone, son. And in this one, I don't even want to step on it, dude. I don't even want to step on it. It's so good. It is so good. And honestly, I'm going to say this right now, dude. I'm going to say this right now. I like this girl, dude. Like, I like this girl. She's getting painted, you know, like she's getting... Okay, so here's the thing, right? A girl who has done a lot of, you know, who's been around the block, right? Like a girl who has, uh, how far into this video are we? <laughs> I'm trying to like make sure I get far enough out before I start really going. Matter of fact, let's just do this real quick. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you did. That is generally what I ask. If you're gonna watch my content, you can watch all my content forever. Just subscribe to the channel. You click the button one time and then that's it. I always, you know, attribute it to the like, here, take a piece of candy and leave a quarter in the jar. Like what kind of person takes the candy and doesn't leave the quarter? Like I'm just saying like, this, it's on the honor system. Click subscribe if you don't mind. And then you can watch all my content. I would do it for you, I promise. All right, so here is the deal. Now we can just, now we can just take the gloves off, okay? So here's, uh, here's the deal, right? A girl that, you know, has banged a million guys. Let's just put it like that, right? Like a girl who's banged a million guys. If she tries to sneak around about it, right? Like if she's like a, you know, if she's like a little sneak and she would like lie, you'd be like, hey, so were you with that guy? She's like, no, no. That's a girl that I have no respect for. I'm like, ugh, she's trash. You know, you can hit it, but like you don't respect her. You know, she's garbage. She's a hua, a girl who would lie. But a girl who doesn't give a single solitary fuck, right? Like does not care at all. Like has no shame whatsoever. You're like, that girl's a gangster, dude. Like this girl, now I realize there are going to be a lot of people who do, who do not agree with this, who think that like, you know, no, no, no. If a girl gets around, she's a whore. Okay. Well, she might be a whore, but what I'm saying is like, you, you know, like I respect, I respect how gangster she is. 
And that is what Nina Agdahl is. She doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck at all. I would love to see how she's handling this because I don't even think she would be, I don't even think she's embarrassed by this. After watching this video and then watching this, I don't think she's embarrassed. I don't think she's embarrassed at all. I think she probably wants to make a statement. She's like, yeah, I fucked all those guys. You know? Now, in fairness, I'm not sure that Logan knows that this was the case. As a matter of fact, I would bet my fucking life that he did not know. So we'll talk more about that, about how he ended up engaged to her because like I said, there's a huge difference, right? There's a huge difference between, uh, you know, I think she's awesome. I think she's a savage. I would hang out with her and think she's a, like a badass. And my boy is engaged to her and I'm like, congratulations, dude. Like, you can't marry that girl, bro. You know, like you listen, you can't marry that girl, you know? And like in the first video that I recorded, I was like, gosh, I just like, I felt like I was talking to, I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you guys a story about me uh, catching my buddy's wife cheating on him and how I had to handle that, you know, eggshells. And it's exactly the same. It's like, th that's how I feel right now where I'm like, God, I don't want to like just, you know, I don't want to pile on or whatnot, but I felt like I should pull my punches because it's like, you know, like, listen, dude, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like, you can't marry, like, I'm like, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to do the video the way that I would actually do it if it was one of my boys. I'm like, dude, you can't fucking marry this girl, man. You cannot marry her. This is not a girl you can marry unless you have, like, unless you guys are just like, fuck it, we're all going to bang everybody. But like, if you're, if you want her like housewife, that's not, anyway. So let's jump right into it and uh, let's watch this one first because this is the one where you get a, you know, I, like this is the order I watch them and this is the right way to watch them. So this is the dude from Valuetainment talking about Nina Agdahl and uh, yeah. Logan just got engaged about a month ago to a girl. Does anybody know her name? No. Nina Agdahl, uh, who's actually a girl from Miami that I used to kick it with and oh. not one, not two. But three of my homeboys dated oh. before she. Oh, three. Um, so that means yeah. they fucked her. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, Got to put that out there. So but I actually like Nina. So this is no disrespect, but you know. No yeah. disrespect, Nina. Uh, we will. We will. We, we have uh, the images to back up my uh, my case. By the way, what did he just say? What did he just say? He said, I have the images to back this up. Now, what has Dylan been saying all along? He says that he has headshots. He's like, I have nuclear pictures that if I drop, the relationship will end instantaneously. And also, they'll end the fight. That's why I'm not putting them out because they'll cancel the fight. But he has them. Now, what do you think? Where, where do you, what do you think the source of those pictures is now? You know, Do you think it maybe might be this guy? Because he was volunteering that to a big group of people he's doing an interview with. He's like, oh yeah, we got the images too, you know, to back this up that me and all my boys smashed, you know? I mean, it could be him or it could be just that she likes to get photographed and you're like, wait, she likes to get photographed. What would, what would make you think that, Jesse on Fire? Well, uh, I'm gonna show you the next video shortly and you will see that, like I said, she does not give a fuck, not even a little bit, dude. She's a gangster and you will see exactly what I mean in a second. So again, what this video verified, okay, is that it's not just pictures, dude. It's not just random pictures of her with dudes. It's like, this is, because you, is he in any of those pictures? Was he in any of the pictures that we'd already seen? No, right? So this is just another dude in Miami who's like, yeah, I smashed, three of my boys smashed, and, uh, you know, and then she's got all these pictures over here. Okay, so we'll get into more about this shortly, because I think there is a very important piece of context that you're going to see in this one that just got dropped today. By the way, I'm very proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever gone without sex since I started. Obviously, it's driving me crazy. I am struggling. I need penis inside of me. ASAP. Like, all I want is, like, a big, fat sausage just destroying my body. <laughs> so, if any of you guys know a good dick that doesn't have STDs on it, I'll take it right here. Oh, my God. It's so good, dude. And, by the way, it's got another 700,000 views in the, like, five minutes that I've been recording this. Dude. I, I mean... Like I said, she does not care. Like, okay, so there's, I don't know where he got this video, okay? My guess is that someone 
that is a source of these images from him sent them. And if that's the case, like let's say it's a value taming guy or maybe it's someone else who himself and some of his boys all smashed, right? Which seems likely because I don't think she put this on the internet. You know what I mean? My, I mean, maybe she did actually. But let's just say it was the value taming guy. What does this video represent? It means she's sending this to one of her friends and she's like, I am absolutely starving. Do you understand? Like, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm laying in bed. Do you know someone who's clean that can come over and just pulverize my body? Like, make sure that it's big. Make sure that this guy's got stamina. I, if you have someone come over here and he goes two minutes, I'm going to lose my, it'll be worse than if he doesn't come. I need someone who can really get after it. Just ripping my body apart. <laughs> And so what that means, dude, is she doesn't give a f He's so hot. But like, again, there is a huge, massive, enormous difference between, damn, she doesn't care and she's super hot and, oh, my boy's engaged to her and I should probably not say anything to him about it. You know what I mean? Because, good God, man. It's, what's, okay, so when she did Impulsive, right? Like when she did the Impulsive show, I saw some clips of that because there are 1,000 videos about this on the internet. When she did Impulsive, they talked about like when they first met and like how like she didn't smash or whatever. Like at least I, the way that I heard it was like the first like initial couple days or whatever, like they didn't, they didn't bang or something. I might've misunderstood that. I'm pretty sure that that's what they said, right? And- and then there was the thing about like uh, that that Logan was gonna go uh, do like he was gonna get like solo certified to to uh, do um, parachute right like to to do jumps. Uh, what is the parachute? What the hell like parachute? That's this is uh, dude my my brain is cooked man. But anyway yeah that and then she was like no you're not going. She's like I did not sign up for this Logan. I love you too much for you to risk your life. You know, I love you way too much for you to risk your life. And he's like, man, he's like, God, this girl loves me. And I'm not saying she doesn't. I'm definitely not saying she doesn't. But I've seen that movie before, dude. Okay. That is a movie I have seen before. Okay. Because I have dated. Okay. Like, I mean, like there are plenty of these on my resume, but like a girl that was like my girlfriend twice. Girl like this, right? Where I knew I knew she was an absolute dick hound, you know? And I was like, well, I mean, but but I'll tame her, you know? I'll tame her, you know? Cause I'm, you know, I'm a hound on the other side, but I like her, dude. We got, I could stick with, I could stick with just her. And they both run that same game, dude. They both ran that exact same game. They're like, no, you, they're like the hard, the hard grab. And, you know, Listen, I've seen how those movies played out, dude. Bottom line, that was a long time ago. I mean, I've been together with Gabrielle for so long. I've seen how that movie plays out. And it doesn't end very well in terms of the marriage. Both of them got married. Neither of them are married anymore. One of them with a very tragic ending, okay? This is like, you can't, you cannot marry a girl like this, dude. Now you could be best friends with her. She could be the best chick ever, dude. Like you, literally one of your best friends that you, and you bang her out, dude, all the time. And you guys don't get possessive over each other. Like you just do whatever you want. Like she can really be someone who's very, very close to you in your life. It's just committed uh, monogamy not going to be a good thing here, dude. Does that, I mean, you know what I mean? What happens if you guys get in an argument and then you're out of, you're out of town for three weeks? You know, <laughs> like, you're all, oh, I'm sure she's being good. She's probably being good. I, I mean, and even if she is being good, you probably won't stress out about it because you have seen videos of her like, oh my God, I need dick so bad. I'm dying. I have no self-control. Literally, I just need a sausage. I want someone to just pulverize my body because <laughs> that's definitely not going to be going through your head while you're overseas and you're like, hey, you're being good, right? She's like, yeah. He's like, why is your, why is your, why are your location services off? She's all, what? Why are your locations? They're not. Yeah, they are. I can't see where you are. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. You turned off your location services. Why? Uh, I didn't do that. Okay. Yeah, you did. You know what I mean? Well, I just didn't want you to stress out, okay? I wasn't doing anything. Oh, really? You weren't? 
I'm at home. Oh, you're at home? Why don't you, uh, you know, this is actually, I'll tell you a true story about like the second one. So we had just moved in together in San Diego and I was in Vegas for a bachelor party and we talked at like two in the morning and I could tell, I like, she was lying. She was saying she's at home. This is actually, I think this is before location services too. She's lying. She's saying she was at home and I'm like, you sound like you're in a bathroom. Why are you, why are you lying to me about where you are? And she's like, I'm home. And I was like, all right, so, uh, if you're home, shake, uh, you know, go, go to, to like my dog. I was like, just shake his, uh, you know, shake his, shake his, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Like his, his metal thing or whatever, like his dog tag. And she's like, oh my God, you're being crazy. We live in like a 600 square foot apartment. Like if she's home, he's one foot away from her. I'm like, just shake it, dude. She's like, you're being, it's like, it's so obvious she's lying, dude. And so she shook her keys, you know, like shook her keys. It was so obvious. And like, I had my buddies here. I was like, and I'm putting her on mute. I'm like, she's lying, right? They're like, 100% she's lying. I'm like, and then so I basically, anyway, I'm just saying, dude. This is this comes from experience, okay? This comes from experience. If you think that she's not going to do that, you know, I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah, so like, uh, I would just say like, there's a big difference between, uh, you know, good friend material and monogamous relationship uh, material. So here's the, here's a story I like about, when I caught my buddy's wife cheating on him. So, which I'll do, I mean, obviously I got a fake name this. So we'll, we'll call her Kelly, okay? So Kelly was married to my friend, uh, Baron, right? And so they lived, uh, they lived about two and a half hours away from me. I lived in the Bay Area. They lived uh, up north. And so I'm at this bar in Walnut Creek called uh, uh, Mr. Lucky's, right? And I'm there with like a couple of my buddies and Kelly's there, you know, they live two and a half hours away. I'm like, what the hell? What is this chick doing here? <laughs> I was like, Kelly, what's up, dude? I was like, what? She's like, oh, I was working down here, which is true. She did work in the Bay Area. She's like, I was working down here. So I just stayed for the weekend. I was like, oh, nice, dude. So her and I are like in the front of this area. There's like a, you know, an entranceway between where the door is and where the actual bar is. And her and I were talking in there. And this dude walked in there and looked at her like, he literally looked at her like this. Like, he's like, who the fuck is this guy? A look that I very clearly knew, you know, like where I looked and he, he looked at her seriously. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, he looked at her like she was cheating on him by talking to me. She's my friend's, one of my best friend's wives. And I was like, and I saw it. And then she looked at him and kind of gave him like a, you know, one of these that was like, this is one of, this is one of Baron's friends. Get the fuck out of here, you know? And so he turned and so he kind of like got the message and turned around and I just looked at her and she looked at me kind of like, did he see that? And I mean, listen, dude, uh, sneaking things by me, tough, tough sell, dude, really, really tough. So I instantly knew that she was banging this guy. Okay. Now, if you're in my situation and you saw that, how on earth are you going to go to your, one of your really good friends and be like, Hey dude, listen, your wife's cheating on you. Hey, how do you know? Well, Tell, you know, tell that story. I was talking to her in a bar and then this guy gave her a look. You're telling me my wife's cheating on me. Yes. And you know how this, just the way he looked at her, man, the way she looked at him. So you were talking to her and some guy came out and they made eye contact in a way that told you that she's having an affair. Yes. How do you think that's going to go, dude? Okay. She's going to turn around and be like, it's a complete lie. It's crazy. And oh, and Jesse was hitting on me. I didn't want to tell you, but he was hitting on me and I rejected him. And so blah, blah, you know what I mean? So I didn't know what to do. I called my other friends and I was like, like, you know, we're in a, a really tight group. And I was like, look, and they knew who he was. And this guy was not a, like, this is a person that we knew. Okay. He was one of our other, like a, a girl, like a chick in their crew. It was her boss, right? So like we had seen, like he is kind of like ancillarily connected to our crew. And so I told him, I'm like, dude. I, and they're like, for sure. I'm like, you know me. And they're like, yeah, I'm like 100%. And they're like, fuck. I'm like, I don't know what to tell. Like there, there's nothing, there, there, what, what possible, there's not evidence to, to give to him, you know? And so I didn't tell him because I didn't know what to do it. But then we started keeping our ear to the ground. And anyway, she ended up, he ended up catching her and she left him. Like she left him and she was with that guy for five years. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, she was not like Nina. She was not, you wouldn't have seen her coming when it comes to affairs really. But uh, anyway, 
that's enough probably because this story just keeps getting worse. Uh, I just think that Logan should just come out and be like, yeah, I don't care, dude. <laughs> He's like, hey, you know that Mike, my best friend, was dating Lana Rhodes, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, like this, the angle that Logan could take any time on this is like, hey guys, you know my best friend, Mike? Do you remember who his ex-girlfriend is? They're like, who? Like, Lana Rhodes. You're like, oh, right, right. Like, we don't care. We don't care what they were doing before. He was dating Lana Rhodes. She's a porn star. I never, I never shamed him about that. Nina's just a girl who is very, very hungry a lot, you know? And so I'm the one who feeds her now. I don't care what she's got on, on, in her, I don't care at all. Matter of fact, I, why do you think I want to be with her? She's starving all the time and I'm down to be the one that feeds her or something. But like I said, uh, I would advise against going through with this uh, ceremony personally. But anyway, that's what I got.